What's up? What's up, everybody? This is CKODDY, and in the last episode, I was stuck, so I didn't know what to do. But you were, uh, you were supposed to grab this bow and present it. Yeah, that is it. Anyway, take that, Miss Miss Orly. We have a record here that clearly, clearly, clearly contradicts what you said. It states the police were alerted by a report from the defendant. Eh? And we know that the defendant left the room, climbed the stairs, and made a phone call from the first floor of the Borscht Boat Club. Ah. So, explain how you kept your eyes on the defendant when he left the room entirely. Eh. Okay, I'm just gonna ask. What happened to the bowl? Did she just throw it up or something? I don't, I don't know. The man who picked up a bottle and swung it the night was the defendant. It was her? Was it? No? Oh. Well, this never happened to me before. In the last three games, this never happened. So. Mm, yeah. Shout out to Dirty shit! Check his pockets now! It's gone! The card's gone! You lose. Ah! That song is pretty good. Eston Smith grabbed the ball from next to right and he hit me. You, the master machine you turn out to be! When I came, when I came to the victim, the victim was already dead. Is that it? That's why I couldn't reveal who I really was. If it came out that I was, that I was in league with Smith, I'd be suspected for sure. Well, where does this leave us? Madness! This is madness! I'm dreaming. It must have been me who was hit with the bottle, and and I'm imagining all of this. Uh, it appears a prosecution is at his wits end, and frankly, I can't blame him. Miss Gawain, what do you think about this turn of event? Miss Gawain, sir, I believe that as the defense in this case, we are compelled to call Miss Ola a big. Liar. What? We were in the room the night of the murder. The defendant, victim, and her. And she has a motive. Motive? Her plot of foil. The witness got into an argument with her client, Mr. Smith. And the the, the no. Why does he have to say hard words? Of the argument was murder. What? I did. I'm no killer. It's a trap. Someone's trying to frame me. webs will we when we practice to deceive. So tender we catch ourselves in the process. M Mr. Bright? Such a ha such a hasty conclusion. It's not like you, Christoph Gaby. What are you saying? Why not consider the other possibility? That there was another person in the room at the time of the murder. Right, like Mr. Bright uh, was saying before recess, a single card was swapped into the victim's hand after the murder. And the one who swapped the card didn't know two col colors of cards were being used. A fourth, a fourth person. Objection! Ha! This is fair again. Your fourth person doesn't exist. Indeed. That's why. I decided. I decided to bring this case to court. Here, where there's no escape and no chance for deception. The perfect place to catch the real criminal. The real criminal. Uh, and we're in love. A clue they really criminals in the identity was kindly provided for us. Right at the beginning of the trial, no less. Oh, what? Apollo, perhaps you know what I'm talking about. Um, sorry. Remember what I said. The fourth person was who swapped the cards made one critical error. He or she wasn't concealing the colors on the backs of the cards. Right. 
But how could such an obvious mistake occur? The cards used for the last game were red. Yet, there is one person here in our court. There it is again. Yeah, I thought so. It's blue over there. In our court, who thought those cards were blue? Yeah, I had the impression too, but what? Well, Apollo, think you can figure out who it was? Uh, no. I don't think so. It's not me, I swear! Smart. Who is the fourth person? Why do I always get, get put on the spot like this? Let's see, let's see what the defense has to say. Who was it? Who thought the cards used in the final game were blue? Uh, Shady Smith. Take that! Apollo, do you seriously think that? Yes, I think so. I think I'm seri seriously confused. I am seriously sorry. They didn't go well. Well, it can't be helped. I almost missed it myself. But it doesn't do anyone any good to turn their eyes away from the truth, does it? Christoph. What? Uh, Mr. Gaywin? You don't mean... Christoph Gaywin, you were the fourth person that night. But, but of course Mr. Gaywin knows the color of the cards. How? How would he? As you can see, the photo of the crime scene is black and white. You can't tell which of the cards are blue. The ones on the floor or the table. But look! You can you can see the colors in this photo. Yes, but when it said the color were blue, it was, it was well before this evidence came to light. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Yet, it was only that, a game, in a pure sense, a competition, your honor. A, a competition? Yes, a test of wits, a sign and clash of passions. Only the cards, the brass breathed in blue flame. You know its final outcome. Christoph? Mr. Gaywin? Mr. Gaywin! Is something the matter? Hmm? Oh, no, no, it, nothing. Excuse me. It was just so sudden, right? You aren't ser seriously accusing me, are you? Oh, Christoph. You know, even I never take a joke this far. Action! This has gone beyond ridic ridiculous, beyond dumb. This is insanity. The defendant, the defendant accusing his own defense attorney of murder. I assure you, I'm quite sane. But what possible, co uh, but what possible connection could, could Mr. Gaywin have to the victim? We will, we will find out in the next episode. So uh, stay tuned and have a great day. Okay, bye.